Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from sysadmin102. In today's video, I will show you how to convert a OVA or OVF image to a QUME image, which is a QCAL version 2. Uh, it's fairly simple and it's uh, pretty easy. Uh, how fast it is, it depends on your system and um, how big is the uh, OVA or OVF file. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share at the end of the video if you think the tutorial is helpful. And if you are my return viewer, thank you for your support. We wouldn't make it this far without you. And with that, let's get started. All right, uh, before we get started, I'm going to show you the requirement, what you need in order to convert the OVA, OVF to a QCAL2. So in order to do that, you will need a QEMU virtualizer installed on your system. If you haven't already have a homebrew installed on your system, follow the tutorial. Uh, the link is going to be down in the description uh, to install homebrew. And once you have homebrew, you just have to copy command brew install QEMU. And that will uh, install the QEMU virtualizer for um, you to uh, use the QEMU converter to convert the image to the QCAL version 2. So let's talk about the OVA or OVF. So in order to convert from OVA, OVF to QCAL version 2, you need to extract the VMDK from the OVF or OVA image. So OVF or OVA treat it like a zip file in the package. You can use the tar command on your uh, Mac OS and extract the file within that OVA or OVF virtual machine and then from there we can convert the VMDK to the QCAL version 2 and with that I'm gonna give you a demonstration how uh, you can do that on the terminal alright so in this example I'm gonna show you how to convert the Kali dash CMIT 460 dot uh, OVA to the QCAL version 2. So this is uh, one of the virtual machine that uh, provided by uh, U University of Maryland Global Campus when I'm taking my um, classes for my uh, bachelor degree. I'm going to show you how to convert this to uh, QCAL version 2. And yes, it's does work on uh, Mac Silicon using the UTM. It's a little bit slower because this is a uh, Intel uh, architecture and you have to uh, emulate it instead of virtual light. It's a little bit slower, but it does work. So for those uh, of you that actually taking courses uh, and you don't want to get like a Intel machine in order to run these uh, virtual machine from your uh, university or college, yes, it does work. And I'm going to show you how, how to get it to work as well. All right, if you haven't already done so, uh, please go ahead and open up your terminal. So first thing, we're going to change the directory to the folder where the OVA located at. So I'm going to use the CD command, change directory to download. And we're going to look for, because I have a lot of files in here, so we're just going to look for the anything with the Kali. And there we go. And next, we're gonna extract that OVA file to get the VMDK image. So we're gonna use the make the command. You don't have to. However, I like to keep it organized. If you use the tar command to extract the OVA, they're gonna extract all that file into the download folder, uh, which is gonna be like multiple files. So it just make it more organized that you keep it in one folder. And Kelly. So one uh, quick tips, uh, you see how I put the KA and I click tab and it automatically uh, populate a file. So that's one quick way and you don't have to tap out the whole thing. Just a quick tip for you. So we're going to make that folder and as well we're going to run the tar command at the same time to extract uh, the OVA file into that folder we just made. And it's going to be XVF and again KAL and tap. So you got the file and then dash C and again the VM name and we just delete out the OVA portions and enter 
All right, so now we got it attracted to um, VMDK. Next, we're gonna do the CD command one more time to change the directory to that uh, Kali folder. And then I'm gonna use the list command. Here we go. That's a file we have. And next, we're gonna use the QEMU image converter to uh, convert the uh, VMDK to QCAL version 2. So the command gonna be a uh, QEMU that img convert dash f that the uh, input format gonna be a vmdk and then dash o for the output format is gonna be uh, obviously qcal version 2 and it's gonna be the kali linux dash cmix uh, 460 that's the number one VMDK and then again it's gonna be Kali Linux CMIC 650 dish number one but this time it's gonna be a uh, QCAL version 2 and enter so this is when it comes to um, you know your uh, computer hardware and how big the file uh, that's how long it's gonna take to convert that file into a uh, QCAL version 2. Alright, look like it finished. And in the next step, I'm gonna show you how to import it uh, QCAL version 2 into the UTM virtual machine. Alright, so from uh, UTM, you're gonna select create a new virtual machine. And we're gonna select uh, emulate since this is an x86 uh, architecture. And we're gonna select order. And we're gonna select uh, skip ISO boot and continue. And I'm gonna keep everything at the uh, default setting. Same thing, I'm gonna keep at the default setting, you, but you can uh, twist this to whatever um, applicable to your system. Alright, continue. I'm gonna call it uh, Kali Linux CMIC 460. And we're gonna select open VM setting and we're gonna save it. Alright, so right here, if you click on the icon uh, and you select custom, you can actually uh, change the icon, uh, use your own icon, or you select operating system and you click on the icon again. You're gonna repopulate all the current one that uh, offered by UTM. So I'm gonna select the uh, one for Kali Linux. All right. So for system, we're gonna select a uh, force multi-core. Uh, this kind of speed up uh, emulation a little bit. However, it might create some issue. If you experience some issue, uh, just come back in here and check it up. And we're gonna check up uh, UEFI. I'm gonna check uh, U local time for base clock. We're gonna go down to uh, the drives, and we're gonna remove this one. And we're gonna select create a new one and we're gonna select uh, import so that would be the Kali dash CMIT this one and QCAL uh, version 2 open and then once you click set and as you see it's kind of spinning a little bit that because importing the file from the download to the actual um, location where UTM stored the virtual machine so I'm gonna go down to uh, Kali Linux and we're gonna start the virtual machine so it definitely slower than typical ARM virtual machine that you use however it's still usable so if you go in school uh, this is one way you can run it on your silicon mac instead of you know getting a pc or like an intel mac or, or whatnot and there it is so that's concluded today uh, tutorial. If you think the video is helpful, again, don't forget sub to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.